You guys, Zunter, welcome back to another video. Vola is a brand that I only learned of very recently. It's an acronym that stands for Voice of Life and Arts, and they make some crazy nice guitars out of the US and Japan. This particular one is a Japanese-made Blaze XFR, and the finish is ridiculously cool, so let's take a closer look. Now the first thing that I noticed about the Blaze X when I picked it up is just how good the craftsmanship is. Like there are high quality pro level workhorse guitars in the $800 to $1200 range, and then there are guitars that are just a level above that, that border the line between art and practicality. To me, this is one of those guitars. In terms of material, the body is mahogany with a three piece set through maple neck. The ebony fingerboard has 24 jumbo frets and a 12 inch fingerboard radius. Visually, it takes clear inspiration from other upscale instruments and rolls it into one high grade package. The finish is awesome. Now, when I posted teaser pictures of this to Instagram and Facebook for obvious reasons, so many people thought it was a different, more expensive guitar from a brand whose name may or may not start with an M, which is pretty high praise because that is some top tier finishing. From what Vola tells me though, this is actually created using a different process, although the result is similarly as striking. It's got a matte black carved ash top with a grain's been filled with color, which in the light is actually quite shiny. Vola has a few options on the website, including this psychedelic finish I'm calling Nebula Burst, and the one that I have here is labeled BLGD, which I'm guessing refers to the blue and gold fade. There are also floating trem and string through variations for each color. I really like the finish, not only because it looks cool, but also because it feels great. The top is very three dimensional, and I just wish I had a better camera to actually capture how good it looks in real life. This finish is kind of nostalgic, actually. Like, it reminds me of the Magic Rainbow scratch paper that I used to play with in kindergarten. Remember that stuff? That stuff was a shit. The one thing that I'm not too sure about is the super white binding. It really really stands out and almost looks too clean to me, 
but that's just personal preference. Now something that I wasn't quite expecting from a guitar that looks like it was built with modern metal tones in mind is that the neck is pretty fat. It's listed as a large C shape and I have to emphasize the large part. It is a thick maple neck with a very smooth satin finish. I've played other chunky maple necks with satin finishes before and what I've noticed is that a lot of them end up feeling plasticky, almost toy-like, which ruins the experience for me. This one though, it's been done in a way where the neck still very much feels like wood, so I'm really happy about that. I know it doesn't make as big a difference to most people as it does to me, but I am a snob about the fingerboard radius. Something that really puts me off a lot of modern guitars made for heavy music is that the fingerboards tend to be super flat. So I'm glad Vola's gone the round route. It makes it feel more like the Les Pauls that I love to play. Now Vola did an amazing job with the setup on the one that they sent me, and thank God because I hate setting up Floyds. The intonation is spot on, the action is low with minimal fret buzz, and I mean the thing was even perfectly in tune when I opened up the case. The large frets are shiny, they're level, nothing sharp, and the set through neck joint makes all 24 of them easily accessible. Basically what I'm trying to say is that this isn't just a decorative piece, it's a guitar that practically plays itself. The attention to detail is astounding. Now as you'd expect for a guitar in this price range, all the components are high end. It has a Godot floating tremolo and locking nut, so tuning stability is a complete non-issue even when you're just wanking away on the whammy bar. It also has Godo locking tuners, which is cool, even though you won't use them much because of the locking nut. The switches and pots all feel smooth, but with a good resistance to them, which adds to the whole high-end experience. The Blaze X also comes with a heavy-duty hard case, befitting a guitar in this price range. The pickups in the Blaze X FR are Vola's proprietary VHC in the neck and VHC2 in the bridge. I'm guessing it stands for Vola Handmade Cafefe, but that's just a guess. While most guitars that have splittable humbuckers use push-pull pots, the Blaze X has two mini toggles to control each pickup's mode individually. Down has the pickup in series or normal mode, middle coil taps it, and up puts it in parallel mode. Here's what everything sounds like, first dirty through the red channel of my dual rectifier. <laughs> Now clean through the green channel.
The parallel mode adds an extra tonal dimension to this guitar, and while I generally don't like mini toggles because, and this is gonna sound so shallow, they look really ugly, I actually ended up using the parallel mode a lot for cleans. And now it's time for Simon Says, a segment where we ask my guitar noob roommate, who doesn't know that much about guitars, to give his opinion on the Vola Blaze XFR. Simon, what do you think of this guitar? Whoa, it's like so colorful. It's like looking at a, like when you spill oil in the rain. Why are you spilling shit everywhere? <laughs> spilling oil, spilling coffee? I recently kind of had a accident. But anyway, <laughs> uh, it's got the guitar drill stick. I like this. It's made in Japan, so that sounds expensive. The top is made of a wood called ash. So is ash like just wood that they burned? <laughs> no. Uh, so what's going on here? There's like a lot of switches. There's too many configurations. I mean, it, it definitely feels high quality just by looking at Japan. <laughs> <laughs> How much would you say this guitar is? 2000 a little more. What the fuck? That's so <laughs> expensive. This is like the most expensive guitar that you've given me. You gonna be a little more careful with it now? It does. That's like eight Harley Bentons. <laughs> <laughs> How many thumbs do you give this one? I appreciate all of the unique unicities from this guitar, but it's it's very expensive. I'm gonna give it half a thumb. Half a thumb. It's wow. It's so expensive. <laughs> it's not like a beginner or medio, me, intermediate guitar, I would say. So it's not a Simon level guitar. It's like a bougie, like, hipster guitar. <laughs> so this is a very good guitar. It's a little more expensive than the stuff I normally feature on the channel, but it is a serious piece of craftsmanship. I'm amazed by the attention to detail, and I usually don't like to generalize by country of origin since each factory is different, but I've never played a high-end Japanese guitar that's been anything short of near perfection. I mentioned Vola, and specifically the Blaze X series, in my top favorite things at NAMM this year video, because I thought they looked really cool and felt great on the show floor, but now that I've been able to really put one through its paces in my usual review process, it's the real deal. I understand, for most people this video will be purely about the guitar porn. When guitars get into this kind of price range, they're judged differently. This is not your everyday affordable workhorse, it's pricey. This is a premium instrument, and so if you're in the mood to really treat yourself, you might want to look into Vola. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I have my opinions, but of course I'd love to hear yours, so leave them in the comments, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks to Vola for sending this guitar out. Links to all the gear featured are in the description. For bonus extras like song downloads and tabs, check out my Patreon. Shout out to my buddy Pad for mixing the demo track. His channel is in the cards. As always, thanks so much for watching. You've been awesome. This is the Vola Blaze XFR, and I'll see you for the next video.